So here we have the Kia Seed 1 litre turbo GT line on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and I'll run for a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you can see as we approach the back of the car we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Uh, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see not only is it in good condition, but it's a fantastic looking car as well. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are in great condition, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter. In the middle, we have the speedometer, and then we have the fuel gauge on the far right-hand side. You can see in the middle, the total miles for this car are 3,372. The information that's displayed above that, the fuel economy information, can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. There's various menus, not only fuel economy, but you can see along the top here, uh, we have also got satellite navigation, we've got an audio menu, and then two separate kind of settings, one car settings and one user settings one, and all the way back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a moment ago are these ones just here for the trip computer, and then above that we've got cruise control and speed limiter. We also have this button. If I press that button uh, and show you on the uh, dials, it will change the setup of the steering. So to comfort, it makes the steering lighter. To normal, which would be the kind of normal amount of uh, steering uh, velocity, if you like, and then we've also got sport mode as well. So the steering becomes a lot firmer in sport mode, gives a bit more feel through the steering wheel. So you can set that up however you like. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we've got stereo controls at the top, and then we have phone controls at the bottom. So we can answer the phone, end phone calls, and we've got voice activation. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone out of your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired the phone, which is done on the central screen over here, just tap all menus and then go to phone and follow the instructions from there. We can go back to the home screen at the top there. Uh, when it comes to radio, firstly, this car has got DAB and FM radio as well as AM radio. And there's a few other ways to listen to music. If I press that button at the moment, it will say no media files available. And that's because nothing is connected. We can connect a USB device, an auxiliary device, and once you pair the phone, you can also stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. This car also has satellite navigation, which will come up on this screen. Just hit map and then follow the instructions. Uh, and as I mentioned, when we're at the back of the car, a reversing camera, which you can see just there. Also, it shows the guidelines on the ground. So you know where the car is headed in relation to the image that you can see on the screen. Below that, we've got the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on the passenger and driver side. Fan speed up and down just here, up and down. And then press that button to turn the air conditioning on. It's on at the moment or back off again or hit auto and the car will maintain those temperatures for you. Uh, you can then override that by readjusting the fan speed yourself. And then at the bottom, you can determine where within the car you'd like the air to blow. Underneath that, we've got two 12 volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. We then have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.